Well, I'm finally on my way to the Boundary Waters. I'm going to spend the night in Duluth and pick up my entry permit in the morning. Then I'll be down to the Boundary Waters at about 11 o'clock. I got some nasty weather coming in, so I'm not sure what to expect. And I'm not even sure if the ice is off the lake yet. I'll just have to take it as it comes. Well, I made it. Coming in on the trail. Sorry, it's going to be a little bumpy. Once you hit this bridge, you go up the hill and make a right hand turn and it's only a couple hundred more yards to the put in. Beautiful. We're here at the put-in. Got my boat. Some of my gear here. Some of my gear stored down there. 
think we're gonna have some interesting white watering going on coming up here. All right, here we go. Maiden journey, besides being goofing around at home. Finally, after months of preparation, the stream is pretty swollen. So I'm gonna have to really be on top of things here. But it feels good to be floating. I put on about five miles already hiking gear in. Take it nice and easy. Get a feel for what we got going on. There's a lot of current. There's a good chance I'm gonna to need to have to portage again. to take it easy. A lot of current, a lot of power in this stream. Okay, morning of day two. I'm gonna give you a little look around camp. Here's a picture of my lake, Bald Eagle Lake. I'm on the northwest corner of the lake. Right around the corner from that point is goes into I think it's called Gabbro Lake. Beautiful. What a difference a, a little bit of time makes yesterday. Um, coming around the point of that island. I didn't know if I was going to make it. Uh, the white caps were so bad. Uh, boat was taken on water, and uh, it wasn't good. Out of nowhere, the wind came up out of nowhere. We had huge storms yesterday all day. I portaged in, started at. I finally got uh, going about noon after picking up my permit, and then. Um, It rained, I hiked everything in, I got into the lake here, I set up camp. When I finally sat down, it was 8.45 at night. I was so soaked that my underwear was wet. Matter of fact, my, it was my underwear, everything drying on the line over here. Set up a makeshift. They, my underwear is actually blue from my jeans. <laughs> Got my little solar panel set up right here now. Charging everything I can whenever I can. My boots are so soaking wet, I don't know if they'll ever dry out for the rest of the trip. Spinning around this way. We've got, uh, there's my tent. I tucked it back in the trees yesterday. Um, I wanted to be over here. Up on that rock ledge up in here. Oh, sorry. I wanted to be up in there with my tent, but I noticed 
this tree was dead. And if we had a northwest wind, it was gonna land right on me. So watch that when you're camping. Make sure that you don't have anything that can fall on you and the storm would hit, especially like we had last night. I dug my canoe back up. To get it away from the water's edge. And uh, we had a little pine tree come down, tickled my Tickled my canoe a little bit. Everything seems to be fine. Rough night, storms, lightning, rain. But this is camp, it's day two. Everything looks excellent. The sun is shining. I can't believe I have any energy left at all after last night and uh, I'm actually fired up to get on the water. So I'm kind of holding myself back from going fast forward here. So we will uh, go find out if there's any fish in this lake today. for breakfast. Blueberry muffins. Morning, day three, back at her again. Nice bright sunny day. We have a uh, rainstorm supposedly coming in at about 1 p.m. So I'm gonna try to hit the water early. Uh, the wind is already starting to pick up a little bit, but otherwise it's a beautiful calm day. Um, I'm having my breakfast, I'm having a little bacon this morning. Mm. I'm having some bacon and my coffee and my oatmeal and then I'll be out to the lake yesterday I caught a walleye and a smallie I'm tro just trolling uh, Rapalas so we're going to go after them as good as we can today yesterday it was tough I couldn't hardly fish at all but it's relaxing it's enjoyable it's beautiful I got sunburned yesterday <laughs> it's the one thing I didn't I didn't expect to happen to sunburn, so uh, I'm going to try to keep the log sleeve on today for a while. Anyway, it's been fun so far, and I need to get my energy level up because it's really been uh, physically demanding. So I really struggled yesterday in the wind with the, with the canoe. Uh, wind and current, I went to where there was some current yesterday afternoon, and um, I didn't do hardly any filming at all because between the wind and the current, I was getting whipped around just like a little bobber on the water and, and uh, so it was very difficult. Maybe this morning I'll be able to do a little bit more filming from the boat. Uh, I saw like five swans. And I couldn't get footage of them. First of all, they wanted to stay quite a ways away. And second of all, uh, the wind was just too much for the boat. Every time you try to focus on something, the boat would just turn on you. So anyway, today uh, I will do my best to catch my fish this morning because this afternoon it looks like thunderstorms coming in. So everybody have a great day. Day three. It's a little breezy today, making times making the going a little bit rough. My goal, I think, today is to be in that far shore in that far corner today yet. There's supposed to be a little creek that comes in there. I want to kind of explore that, check it out. So if 
the wind doesn't get any worse than it is, I think I'll work that shoreline. I'll be going around this island and check it out. One o'clock storms are coming in, so that'll put an end to my day. Well, somehow I managed to survive this trip back. It's white capping out there. They actually have rollers at times. Thank God I was coming with the wind. Smallmouth bass. I don't know. It's uh, eight, eight, ooh, he's about 18, 19 incher. Long arm them to make them look huge. <laughs> You don't have to work on this one to be big, because he's big. All right, good to go. Twenty-one inch smallmouth. That's a dandy. Nice walleyes today. Be frying them up soon. microphone on yet. Good morning. It's sunny, windy day four. Once again, the wind is howling. It's been four days of this and it's, uh, it's, it's been difficult for me to say the least. It's been trying. Uh, I haven't been able to get out and do a lot of fishing like I wanted to. I've caught a bunch from shore right from camp so that was a blessing. Uh, to have good fishing right from camp on days when it was when it's so windy that you can't get out um, so I guess God does provide uh, also my attitude wasn't real good this morning and um, I guess I'm kind of physically uh, wore down a little bit too I think the adrenaline of the trip is wore off now and uh, so I took this morning and I had my coffee and I reflected on everything that has taken place to this point and I realized I'm so blessed to be here and so what if it's windy, uh, so if the conditions are a little rough and I'm having a hard time getting out fishing. Um, I'm going to enjoy, I'm going to use that as a sign to slow down and just really see what's around me and enjoy what's around me. So that's going to be my goal for today, is to just enjoy whatever uh, Mother Nature brings my way today. So we will uh, slow down and enjoy the day. There's my little camp buddy. She isn't. 
signs of Mother Nature waking up from the Good morning, it's day five. It was a chilly night last night. I uh, really snuggled up in my sleeping bag. Uh, I've got a mummy bag and you can pull it right over your head and you can actually do a drawstring. <laughs> Close your face right down and that's what I did for a while. Um, part of the reason was we had a blood moon last night. Uh, I've got some pretty incredible pictures, I believe. Uh, we'll see when I get home and can take a look at them on a bigger screen. Uh, pretty incredible uh, sight to behold, but I came out with little or no hope. Uh, I woke up and I looked out and the sky was clear, which before it was really cloudy, so uh, I went to bed thinking there was no way I was going to get the moon. But uh, So I rushed out and there was only one cloud in the whole sky and it happened to be right where the moon was, so it was frustrating. But uh, I finally got the, the clouds to clear and I got some pretty neat shots of the, the blood moon and then it's starting to uh, lighten back up again. So again, it was kind of cool to watch, to witness and to get some photos of. Um, Brutal winds again yesterday, uh, and it seems like from every direction and gusting so hard that, um, well, to give you an idea, instead of miles per hour, when you can't keep your baseball cap on, um, that's the type of wind I've had for four days straight. Um, today I'm getting some wind again. Uh, it doesn't seem to be quite as bad, but uh, we're going to give it a try this afternoon here to get out fishing. and. Um, I'm not going to rush today. Today's going to be a day where I'm going to kind of relax. Tomorrow I'm kind of planning to portage into another lake, so we'll see how that goes. My eye is watering. Got something in it. Uh, uh, caught a few fish, caught a few walleyes yesterday. A um, couple small northerns. Uh, nothing exciting to talk about as far as fishing goes. Very slow, very uh, tedious. Very difficult to fish in that high wind though because even when you anchor the, the boat just keeps circling around and around and around you and, and uh, it's hard to really manage your lines. Um, so it's been uh, testing my patience a little bit which is a good thing. Um, I need to learn to deal with adversity a little bit better and uh, I'm working on that so I'm getting, uh, God's giving me an opportunity to work on that this week up here. So as you can see, it's cold. Um, it's about, it's in the 40s right now. 
Uh, high is supposed to be 53, which will be nice. Um, other than that, that's the day five recap. Uh, nothing too exciting going on in camp. I've got my um, little chipmunk. I keep feeding some uh, nuts from my granola. Uh, and I've got a nasty raven that wants to come in. Um, I brought actually brought, brought some blueberry muffins in and uh, <laughs> that raven somehow knew that there was a blueberry muffin inside that plastic container and it pecked a hole through the container and ate that muffin <laughs> on me. <laughs> so my last blueberry muffin went to the raven, the dirty dog. So anyway, uh, that's a, a wrap in a nutshell and uh, we will see what the day brings us. I've been flattening this log for a nice place to sit down, a lot more comfortable when it was rounded. And what I'm doing is I take my bow saw and I make a cut down about every four or five inches. And then when that's done, then I just take my hatchet and then I finish it out. There you go, you have a nice spot. After all that chopping, oh, to sit down and rest. This here is uh, old man's beard. I get it to show up on the camera real well. It grows on the pine trees here, and it's like a moss or a lichen or something. Uh, it makes great fire starter. So I'm gonna try to do a little demonstration here. It's really windy and it's gonna be tough conditions, but I'm gonna try to start a fire using uh, my ferro rod and and just some of this uh, old man's beard. See if we can get a flame going. I'm gonna pull it off of these branches, grind it up a little bit.
so windy here, I don't think this is going to work. We're going to give it a try. There we go. Just old man's beard and a ferro rod. And we have fire. Twenty-seven and a half inch northern, right off the shore, right by camp. That was a fun little fight. He sure didn't want to give up. Pretty happy with this little guy. 27 and a half incher. Day six, I portaged into Turtle Lake. And uh, it was about a half a mile portage, a lot of up and downhill, a lot of rock, so it was a little tricky. Um, it's a beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous day today. Just a little breeze, uh, sunny, warm. Started out 33 degrees. It's warmed up nicely since. So, I've uh, paddled about three quarters of the way across Turtle, dragging a Rapala. I have not had a bite yet. Uh, this lake is known for big northern. I think that's the only fish that's in here, from what I understand, is northern. So, um, we're going to give it a shot. There's a bunch of guys in camp here on this lake. Uh, I think there's like eight guys. They have not done very well. They did have a 30 incher when I came in this morning, so they had some success. So we'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. I'm just really happy that it's a nice calm day for the first time since I've been up here. Enjoy it because tomorrow and the next two days after is supposed to be rainy. So we'll, uh, we'll make the best of it no matter what comes. So yesterday I spent the day in camp, kind of just kicking back, relaxing, making some firewood, fishing from shore. Uh, caught a bunch of northern, not a bunch, three or four northern from shore. One 27 and a half incher that I ended up eating for supper. And uh, so it was a nice day to just kick back and relax and, and take a day off. So today we're gonna hit her hard here in Turtle and see what we can catch. So tight lines, everybody.
grab it I'm left right handed. here. He's, uh... Okay, from line to line on my boat, I'll measure that. And I'll let you know what it was. Okay, buddy, here you go. Aren't you even gonna move, little guy? Huh? I don't even know what kind of snake you are. You're not moving very fast, it's cold out. Uh, probably trying to stay warm. I just caught myself a little snaky northern here. <laughs> he snagged himself pretty bad. I'm hoping I don't get hooked on him. off. Thank goodness. All right, you get to go back. Fish on. Nice big smallie. He's a scrapper. Ooh, 
That's a dandy. Wow. Let's put a tape on him quick. Eighteen inches. That was worth it. Day seven, kind of a rainy day. Set up a tarp. Um, came out of Turtle Lake yesterday, kind of tired. My back was really sore, so I didn't get going real fast this morning. But uh, we're on day seven. I'm uh, on the inlet to Gabbro. Oh, and I got a fish. Oh, I think I had a fish. Maybe that was weeds. Um, and uh, I am, yep, that was a weed. I am going to uh, cut across to the Gabbro down below the waterfalls here, and uh, I'm going to give it a try for fishing. Just had a party of four boats go in front of me through here. So they were just adventuring, they weren't fishing. So anyway, I'm going to drop into there. I have to go around the waterfalls. I have to portage because it's just too too rough to go through. Um, yesterday, my take of Turtle Lake was uh, it has nice big northerns in it. I caught 228 and 130. Uh, very lethargic fish for sure. Yet it's cold. Got to go slow. Small baits. Um, any little life lessons learned yesterday? Uh, persistence. Uh, that was a heck of a workout for me, but I made it. I stuck to it, and uh, I made it through. So anyway, upward and onward today, and we're going to try to catch some supper. I just caught an 18-inch smallie. I probably should have kept it for supper, but I'm hoping for a walleye instead. So we'll give it a try. Wish me luck. I got a big northern on. Ooh, he's got my jig swallowed too. I'll probably never get this back. Some really nasty weather coming. I can see it off at a distance. I'd be smart to head for the hills, but I want to fish. Boy, did he engulf that! Holy smokes! There was no messing around with this guy. See what he 
got here. It's 28 between. That's what he is. 28 incher. Nice one. Big storms coming on the horizon. You can see the rain coming down. Beautiful setting I have here. I caught two nice northerns and a couple little walleyes, which are going to be my supper. And here's what I have coming my way. I'm the dot and that thing is behind a little bit. So that is what we're seeing out there. And I'm a portage away from getting on my lake, so I can't even outrun it. So we're not gonna try. Got another one on. It's a, big, it's a nice fish, whatever it is. Another northern. Boy, they're stacked in here. Good morning, day eight of my trip. It's cold and damp and just kind of icky out. <laughs> I had to put on my wet shoes from yesterday. Everything is wet, so that's always interesting to start the morning at 45 degrees with wet shoes. But that's all part of the adventure. Yesterday I had quite a scare. Um, I felt a kind of a thumping in my stomach all day long and I didn't really pay much attention to it until I got back to camp and then I uh, for some reason I sat down I was relaxing I just took my pulse and I noticed that every time I would have a thump in my stomach which was approximately every 20 to 25 heartbeats my heartbeat would skip a beat so I had an irregular heartbeat all day yesterday and I don't ever don't ever remember having that happen to me before so it it, uh, it scares you. I mean, you're alone in the wilderness and something like that happens. But uh, luckily I have self-service out here and I got a hold of a, a friend of mine, uh, a good friend of mine who was a doctor. And 
and um, he assured me that that happens on occasion and, and uh, it's nothing to be concerned of unless it really goes haywire. So um, by the time I went to bed last night, it had gone away totally and it's gone yet today. First fish of the day. Not a trophy, but it's a fish. So I'm on the board. Little northern. Boy, he's got a fat belly. He's been eating good. Give me my jig back now. Paid play nice. There we go. Boy, he's got a big fat belly. I don't know what he's had. Been eating good. bay and I thought there was going to be a creek coming in but I can't see no water moving anywhere but on the way in I popped this dandy walleye 19 inch walleye I got my camera face a little low 19 inch walleye and I hooked him good so that's a good thing and it's a nice walleye I got my new little makeshift camp here. We got rain coming in an hour. So this is my new little cook stove area. For the cold and the rain. Tonight I'm having Alfredo fettuccine in a creamy Parmesan and Romano cheese flavored sauce. Yum. And Walleye in frying magic. Good morning, day nine. I was sitting here this morning enjoying my breakfast, cooking my breakfast, bacon, oatmeal, and some coffee. Uh, by the way, I don't know if I showed this yet, but I took a little piece of screen, like from a screen window, made a little cup out of it, and I put that over my pot and then I put a regular coffee filter in there and that's how I make my coffee. I just put my coffee grounds in there and, and dump hot water over it. So anyway, enjoying my coffee. Cream and sugar, thank you. And uh, I was thinking about my bacon. This is pre-packaged. You can buy it. It's already made. Kind of cheating. But and it's, it's pricey. And that got me thinking about time and money. You, you can always make more money. There's always more money to be made. 
They're printing it every day. We only get a certain amount of time. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, I'm, I'm speaking from a perspective of somebody that's uh, about to hit the 60 year mark. And uh, time becomes a lot more precious when, when you hit that point. So, um, so consider that. I don't care what age you are. You can always make more money. You can always find more money, get more money. But you can't get any more time. So whenever you get an opportunity to enjoy something, do something, uh, experience something different in life, by all means, don't, don't hesitate to do that because uh, um, time is pretty precious. Enjoy your day, everybody. Well, the taxi has arrived. <laughs> it's moving day. I should say the moving van has arrived. It's moving day. I decided that I'm gonna try a new location just for fun. Don't really know why. I'm gonna take one more little pan around this area here. It's a beautiful campsite. I'm gonna miss it. That's for sure. It's going to be a little bit of an adventure getting across the water today. Uh, out ahead over there, there's an opening off the end of that point where the wind is going to be howling through there um, with a heavy load. I don't know how that's going to go. We'll see. Uh, I'm sure God will find a way to get me through it. I don't think today's my day. You never know. Um, one little tip I wanted to give too. Whenever you break camp, the very last thing you should do when everything is done, everything is totally complete, you're totally 100% sure everything's ready, you're ready to get in the car and drive away or get in the canoe and paddle on, do one more last thorough sweep of the campsite. I always did that when I worked carpentry, log uh, restoration. I always went back over to the job site one last time before I clicked the lock on the trailer. Uh, be surprised how much stuff I found laying around. It was a rough ride across. I thought we had a northwest wind today. I got out on the middle of the lake and it was coming out of the southwest and I had to bucket the whole way. Now I don't know if this is a campsite here or not. Yep, I see a fire ring. So this will be my new home. It's going to be hard to beat my old home. Gave up a mansion in Beverly Hills and I'm slumming it now. <laughs> All right, we're home. Okay, here I am at my new camp. I just pulled in. Tent's going to go there. Cooking stuff here. I have lawn, a beautiful lake. Here we go.
I'm home. I'm home. Look at this. Coming up onto a river. Coming into this lake here. I don't remember the name of the river. I think we're going to get right up in this current and just let the kind of vertically jig. I don't know what else to try here. It sure is pretty in there. The window isn't so bad. I would try to zoom in a little bit better with my camera. But man, I don't even know if I can beat the current. If the, wind, or the wind is beating the current. <laughs> you might not be able to even drift this backwards and vertical jig it. First. Pretty. Well, I'm trapped back in this little bay back in here. I crossed from camp over to where this river comes in here, and out of nowhere, the wind just picked right up. And I don't know if the microphone is picking it up, but. shaking in this boat here but you can see the treetops over there whipping in the wind it's hard to tell but just like that it just and not just one direction but it just pound you from one way and then to come back and hit you from another and uh, beautiful sky out there man look at that gorgeous sky but that wind is just howling I don't know if I can zoom in on this island out here see the treetops whipping in the wind out there. The camera probably doesn't show it as much as it is. Beautiful clouds. Wow. Anyway, I'm trapped here. Ooh, sun's peeking out a little bit. That makes me feel a little better. Until this calms down, I am, I'm stuck right here. I, I was back in that bay. Ooh, now it's raining on me. I gotta put the camera away. Ha! Huh, sun is shining, and it's raining. Okay, good morning. I don't even have my pants belted, buckled up yet. It's pretty early yet. Um, day 10. Yesterday I came to my new camp. I was pretty cheery. It was uh, kind of a struggle against the wind to get here. Everything went good setting up camp and everything and then I went out fishing and I didn't have to go too far, a quarter mile to the first island over there and then I went quite a ways further after that but uh, the wheels kind of came off after that. The howling winds picked up and then um, I had my little solar unit set out trying to catch a little sun. We haven't had sun for so long. My batteries are all going dead. And uh, the howling winds picked up and they were blowing from every direction. It was unbelievable. And it was tossing that little canoe around like crazy and, and I couldn't fish. I couldn't do anything. I found a little bay where I could tuck in. Um, luckily I caught a little bitty northern and I caught a little walleye. <laughs> And I cleaned those while I waited for that wind to subside, and it was 6.30 already, and I thought, I got to make a run for it. And uh, <sighs> I was getting cold, and I was getting wet. It was actually it was raining a little bit, and, and um, I made a run into the wind. I, hit, I came around the point of that island, and I was sitting in the front of the canoe, where actually the canoe turned around so I could uh, kneel and, and then stay low, and then... Everything I had paddling and paddling and paddling and paddling and paddling and then the wind would come up harder and I'd look over and I hadn't gained anything and I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> it was pretty rough and uh, so I just I was persistent. I just grunted even, even a little bit more. I threw my seat back off so I could even get a longer stroke with the paddles and 
I just went for it and I just kept going and going and going and little by little by little by little I'm telling you it was it was the most difficult paddle I've ever had in my life to make that quarter mile stretch across that opening even when I got to the other shore the wind was still beating heck out of me it was amazing how fast how much that wind can get into every nook and cranny and knock that canoe around so it's um and then rain last night um not only did I have rain and wind and miserable out there, um, I ended up eating in a light drizzle uh, and cooking in a light drizzle. Um, my hat, which I've had for years, blew off my head into the water. I mean, just it was like somebody just backhanded me, and wham, and that hat went flying. And it was everything I could do to get to it as I'm slowly watching it sink. It's probably a good thing it's really old. It probably got a lot of grease and everything and dirt and everything in that hat. That hat's been with me for so many years. It took a while to get soaked up and sink. And I'm slowly watching my hat go. I've got a little musky pin on there from a tournament where I, I caught the biggest musky of the tournament on there. And it's, it's a little bit of meaning to me. I'd hate to lose that. And... Uh, so it was brutal. It was it, it just was brutal. And then it rained. I know up until like three o'clock in the morning, it was still raining. So um, there was no rain in the forecast whatsoever either. When I decided to make my move, so um, actually the winds came out of the wrong direction according to what the weather said and everything. So it was kind of a bizarre uh, end of the day yesterday. Um, today is day ten. I'm gonna pack up again and I'm gonna start moving toward. Uh, the outlet. Matter of fact, I'm going to try to get almost to the outlet. I'm hoping that last camp won't have anybody in it. Um, there's a river that feeds in there, and hopefully there'll be some fish in there, and, and maybe I can catch a, a meal there before I move out in the morning. So, any, everybody, everybody have a good day today, and uh, I'm hoping for some calmer winds, and um, it would be nice for a little sun, which I don't think we have forecast, but a little sun would brighten up my uh, disposition. Seems like I'm always MacGyvering all my gear. Uh, I bought this pan, and I found some plates that fit it perfectly, so I'm using it as like my camp kit. But the handle was a problem, so I cut the handle off. I put these two bolts in there. See if I can get focused on them a little bit better. And I ground them off. And then um, I'll show you what I did with my handle. I took the handle and I cut I cut slots in it. So now you have to be careful with it because you can still spill it, but when I want to pick up my pan, I just slide it up underneath and I can pick it right up, move it around, and then uh, it comes off easy to store easy. And it doesn't take up a lot of room then. This is so much better than the, the cheap little pans you get with these cook kits for camping. This is actually a Teflon coated one and it's really served me well. Well, we're all loaded up again and ready to move on down the road. Took my last sweep of camp. The only thing I wish I would have done is gotten the boat a little closer to the water before loading it all the way, but here we go. Now here's my new campsite. The one I wanted is taken. At least I think it is. I can see a boat parked in the shoreway down there, so I'm not going to take a chance of going another over a quarter of a mile I need to find out I gotta come back again with my load so we're gonna take this one all right just landed my boat my canoe and this is my new campground looks like a quaint little site doesn't look like it gets a whole lot of use Beautiful little spot. This is as good as any. So let's get unloaded. All right, I'm up at a new river. 
entry here. I set up camp uh, in a new spot. And uh, I found a little eddy pool here, just downstream from the waterfall. And, uh, oh, I had a northern. <laughs> had a northern and caught a little walleye for supper. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. I felt just a little tap. I'm right on the edge of that break. Let's see what we got here. Oh, another little northern. Oh, he kicked off. Good. That's good. So we had a little fishing excitement. Oh, another, another fish on. Oh, got him. Not him. What do we got this time? This feels like it might be a walleye. It is. Little walleye. Supper. We're not going to be too picky. There is a beaver run right there. The beaver goes up. To get his find his sticks. So he comes up and he goes right up to there. Here's a beaver feeding area. You can see he comes up here and he chews all these sticks. Kind of a cool little spot for him to come here and sit. He's got some sticks floating around over here too. That's kind of a fun little spot for him to come and just hang out and eat his dinner. I'll get some closer pictures too. got a little northern all right just a little fart but we had fun okay back to the water you go Good morning, last morning from camp. As you can see, I'm starting to pack up. Uh, and of course it rained in the process. So that was kind of a bummer. About 33 degrees this morning, cold. It rained last night quite a bit. Uh, they said wintry mix. Uh, I tarped over my tent to make sure everything would kind of stay dry and that worked out pretty good but anyway thanks for coming along again and uh, the adventure isn't quite over yet I've got a lot of paddling to do a brutal river to uh, forge up and then uh, if I, I've got to make the same amount of trips in and out it'll be about five miles of uh, back and forth carrying gear, portaging gear out. So it's going to be a long, brutal day no matter what, even if things go really well. 
It's the last day and we're heading out. I'm a little bummed out about that. It's a beautiful morning. Portaging out. I don't want to leave. It's a beautiful day. The sun is peeking through the cotton candy clouds. Wind is at my back. The temperatures are moderate so I won't overheat. It's setting up to be a perfect situation. Oh, look at that beautiful sun. Oh my goodness. That feels so good to have that sun on your skin after three or four days of nothing but rain. Well, we're turning the corner into Snake River Delta. And we've got rain, as you can see off on the upper right hand of my screen. We're gonna find out shortly, and I'm hoping this rain is gonna miss me. That would be great. It's hailing. <laughs> it's hailing. <laughs> oh goodness, look at this. <laughs> wow. All right, well that was a little better than getting wet. <laughs> and just like that, I think that's it. Yeah, I can see off on the side over here, it looks like it's snowing now. You can turn the camera that way a little bit. Get some trees over there. It looks like it's snowing over there. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. All right. There you go, see? Worried about getting wet, so God turns it into snowballs for me. Here we go.
All right, well, that was an adventure. The weatherman said no rain today, and so far it rained on me three times and hailed on me once.
Okay, here we go to Portage Out. I honor everybody's beliefs and I believe everybody has a right to their opinion but this is one where I'm a little baffled I, I don't know how a person can look out at all this beauty and how everything matches and mends together perfectly everything works how can you look out at all of this and believe that there isn't some form of intelligence behind creating this? That there isn't some kind of a creator? To believe that this could all happen by accident. It's just too amazing. It's too perfect. Well, all packed just came out of the boundary waters it was a heck of an adventure <laughs> <laughs>